The Adventures of Samuel Oliver The Monster of the Deep Chapter 1 The Treasure Ship Samuel stood beside his father and uncle. Below them was the rich galleon they had sought for seven long months. They'd finally found it. Samuel could only imagine the golden treasure that lay within the rotting wreck. A dark shadow moved inside the sunken ship. Samuel squinted but couldn't see what it was. Maybe it was just a school of fish. He didn't know. There were many mysterious creatures in the deep ocean. Samuel hoped it wasn't a dangerous shark. The divers were too close to the treasure to turn back now. Samuel, his father, and his uncle made their way into the galleon. The wooden planks beneath their feet groaned with every footstep. Suddenly, a black fog encircled the divers. Not even their powerful dive lights could penetrate the dark cloud. Samuel wanted to shout to his father, but he knew no one would hear him so deep underwater. Giant tentacles emerged from the cloud. One of the arms grabbed Samuel's uncle and pulled him towards the cloud of ink. Samuel grabbed onto his uncle's arm and desperately tried to pull him free. Suddenly, the tentacle slipped away and disappeared into the darkness. The three ran towards the diving cage. Samuel rang the emergency bell and the cage began to rise to safety. Chapter 2 Flee or Fight At least we got away, said Samuel to himself. But he knew no one would be happy about leaving the treasure behind. Though they'd managed to escape, the fight had taken its toll. Their diving suits were ripped and torn and covered with black ink stains. What on earth happened to you? demanded the captain. We were attacked, said Samuel's father. The treasure seems to have an underwater guardian. We shouldn't have turned around, said Samuel's uncle. Not when we were so close. You're crazy, said the captain. That creature nearly tore you apart. You were lucky to escape with your lives. If his father and uncle were scared, they didn't show it. They grabbed whatever weapons might work against the giant squid. Pry bars, boat hooks, dive knives, and even a sledgehammer. None of the divers hesitated to get back inside the diving cage. One inch at a time, the cage was lowered back into the ocean. They'd face down the Kraken together as a family. Bringing back their golden treasure depended on it. Samuel looked down at the net in his hands. He couldn't believe it was all his father had allowed him to take. Even worse, his father had ordered him to let the grown-ups deal with the giant squid. Chapter 3 The Giant Squid The divers approached the galleon, their tools in hand. Samuel tried not to think of the fabulous treasure within the shipwreck. If they couldn't defeat the Kraken, all of their work would be for nothing. The giant squid didn't wait this time. It had wrapped itself around the largest cannon as it guarded the shipwreck. Samuel wondered if it were waiting for them. 
The giant squid looked ready for the fight. But were they? A cloud of ink surrounded the divers as they tried in vain to fend off the tentacles. The fight had only begun, but they were already losing. There was nothing Samuel could do with his net unless he got to a higher vantage point. He saw a net hanging on the side of the ship and quickly climbed up. From the deck, Samuel looked over the side of the galleon. With his father and uncle wrestling the tentacles, the squid was distracted. He readied the net and prepared to jump. Samuel tumbled through the water as he descended. The net flew open, perfectly falling over the giant squid. Chapter 4 The Lair of Gold Samuel's father and uncle rushed to grab the corners of the net and tie it down with ropes. The kraken writhed and thrashed, but could not free itself. Each time it moved, the net got tighter until it could do nothing but squirm. Samuel whooped and hollered inside his dive suit, but no one could hear him, of course. With the squid tied up, the divers could enter the ship. When they find the treasure, it is more fabulous than Samuel could have possibly imagined. Skeletons guarded, spilling chests of gold and coins, precious jewels and rare riches from faraway lands. But what were these strange glowing orbs? Samuel held up one of the strange glowing orbs to his dive helmet window. Something tiny and fragile moved inside. These aren't gems or treasure, he thought. These are eggs! Giant squid eggs! Samuel's father leaned over his shoulder to look at what Samuel had discovered. The Kraken hadn't been guarding the rich golden treasure. Why would a squid bother itself with such things? She was a mother. She was only trying to protect her young. The two men hauled away the golden treasure. Samuel used his father's dive knife to saw away the net from the giant squid. I'm sorry, he said. We thought you were guarding the treasure. We didn't know that you were a mother. The Kraken just looked back at him with a single, massive eye the size of a dinner plate. But Samuel knew the creature understood his apology. With the last of the net cut, the Kraken took one final look at Samuel before swimming back inside the shipwreck. She ignored the divers and their treasure, content to return to her home and her babies in the watery deep.